a student many years ago, Dan Jackson, um, who was a research assistant of mine and a student in my disability law class. This was in the mid-90s. The Americans with Disabilities Act was still relatively new. Wasn't a lot of case law on it. Dan and I began talking about the application of the issues we were discussing in class for people living with HIV AIDS and the question about whether or not HIV AIDS was a disability. And we would sit down and we'd talk about this and we'd talk about this and eventually one of us said, and I honestly don't remember who, said, we need to write this. And we sat down and I think within a few days, I, 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 it, was pro it felt like a few days because it was a very intense period of time, we wrote an article. And it's not the only article I've co-authored with a student, but it was the first. And it was the one that was the most truly co-authored. I mean, we sat down and wrote together. We took turns typing. Um, wrote this article. It was published. Dan went off on co-op, co-oping with GLAD in Boston, gay, lesbian advocates and defenders. And they were bringing a case in federal court in Maine on behalf of a woman who was denied dental treatment because she was HIV positive just the issue we were talking about in our article. I became involved on the case, in the case, um, ended up co-counseling it with GLAD. The case went to the U.S. Supreme Court. It was the Supreme Court's first HIV case. It was the Supreme Court's first EDA case and established that um, people who were infected with HIV could be protected under the Americans with Disabilities Act. We in effect, prevailed in court against the thing we were worried about happening and discussed as a misinterpretation but a distinct possibility in our article. The case certainly affected much of my scholarship for the next, first of all, it affected much of my life. It took up much of my life for a year and much of my scholarship for the subsequent years. And it all started from conversations in class um, with Dan Jackson, to continue the saga about the relationship between teaching, scholarship, life, social, social justice students. Um, I am on the board and was one of the founders of an organization in Boston called Health Law Advocates. Dan, after he worked at GLAD Co-opt and was the first intern at Health Law Advocates, and just last week, I have now stepped down from my term as president of Health Law Advocates, succeeded by Jan, Dan Jackson, who is now with the law firm of Bingham McCutcheon.